Buonasera, which is good evening in Italian. I just got to Palermo and I love it. I'm in my apartment, I'll give you a tour later. Um, but on my way here, it was only an hour from Sheffaloo, I came up with some more things when you're traveling by yourself. Um, first off, um, I haven't turned on Italian TV in seven weeks the whole time I've been here and I just turned it on <laughs> and I just muted it because I found a reality show that I thought would be fun to learn Italian but there's a lot of yelling it's like the Italian style Jerry Springer people are upset they're cheating on each other and there's yelling so they're recorded cheating on each other with other people and then uh, they're Spouses, boyfriends, whatever, are watching them cheat on film. Very nice. So, <laughs> it is a good way to learn how to speak the language, but there's only so much yelling you can take. Um, so, I came up with a couple more tips, especially if you're traveling by yourself. Okay. So, I took the train here, and... Sometimes they say the train stops the stations, but they don't always. So follow along on Google Maps. Uh, thank you, Wolf, for getting me on Google Maps. This is the second trip I've used Google Maps. It took me a long time to get me on there, and now I'm on there. You know why? Because you can figure out and map out where you're going, walking, public transportation, driving, and it'll give you the best route. So like if you're on the train, you can map where you are and have some idea about when to go out, get off, but you should probably ask someone nearby, me skewsy, like I did, um, to confirm. Because I was very proud of myself for getting right on a city bus, but I didn't realize that they wouldn't stop at my stop, so I had to go one stop more. I mean, I make mistakes, but it wasn't that bad. I live in a nice neighborhood. It feels really safe. It was an old palace, which is cool, um, and I'm happy about that because it's all new and clean and freshly renovated. So, I had a little lunch, and I'm going to go for a walk and see what's going on here. So, here's my tip. Um, you pay one euro to go to the bathroom here. And if you have to go badly, <laughs> you better have that one euro in your pocket. Um, because all of a sudden, you don't know where the bathroom is, and you have to have your money to get into the bathroom. Now, the good thing is, the bathrooms are always clean. And people aren't living in the bathrooms. So you never feel like, oh, I can't go in that bathroom. Because it's dirty or there's unsavory people in there. So always have that euro ready to put in the machine, you and your luggage. Um, and I just can't stress Google Maps enough. Because when you don't know where you are and you're not going to take a $50 taxi um, to go a really short distance... Uh, you can take the city buses, and I heard a lot of bad stuff about the city buses in Palermo. Nope. Not if you're right in the center. They're fast. They come on time. I'm liking it. Okay, this is my first day in Palermo, but still. Um, the lovely Mia took me around and gave me a tour of the neighborhood. And uh, it feels like the old, elegant, nobility neighborhood. That's what she Kept pointing out that old palace and this one down there, the noble floor. That means the king and queen uh, lived on that floor, I guess. So, um, what else can I tell you about traveling safely? Um, oh, okay, in light of the uh, concern over the virus, there are many viruses in the world, I got an industrial strength bottle of alcohol 
because uh, stores were running out of them. And I've been carrying it around. <laughs> it's huge. Anyway, you just have to really take precautions. Um, I was on the train. I didn't touch anybody on the train. Talked to one person for about a second. And um, nobody looked sick. So you have to keep yourself in good shape. Don't get overly stressed. Stay in touch with your loved ones. Um, take time. The great thing about traveling like this is I'm traveling slow. So I'm not in a hurry most of the time. Um, so the thing is, you don't want to hurry. So what if you miss that bus? I mean, you don't want to hurry because what if you tripped over something? It's not good. That could be ugly. Um, oh, and so uh, you can watch television and learn a few words. I learned a few words today. Chiaro means I understand. And what was the other one? Uh, I forgot. I'll have to review. So I've been here seven weeks in Italy, and um, I like the lifestyle here. I like the food, the wine, the beer, how people are friendly. They don't, you know, honestly, you'd be surprised. People are not glued to their phones all the time. You know, children to teenagers are, but uh, regular aged adult from age like 35 to 80, not so much. Um, people go out walking at night. I mean, not late at night, uh, unless you're in a more party town like Palermo is. I can tell that a lot of stuff happens here. But I just wanted to give you some tips on, see, what you're, you're vulnerable when you're in transit. So when you're getting off the train and you want to find a bus and you don't want to take a $50 taxi because it's really just right down the street, Everything is connected, ferry to the bus, to the train. It's so much easier in Europe than it is in Asia. So, and in Central America. Um, really good design. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'd love to help you with your trip. Best thing to do is to ask me on here if I can answer in one or two sentences. That's the, the best. So, ciao Bella. And uh, if you're thinking of getting away to Europe, now's the time. Don't be scared about all of the stuff you hear in the news. It's going to be okay. <laughs>